What's up YouTube? This is Groudon Empire and I'm back with another episode of Route Global 1000, episode 7. Last episode we did we did pretty well. However, between that I played a game and uh it wasn't recorded cuz something was going on with the videos. I didn't record that video. Anyway, so uh, I played a game and then I lost to a Talon Flame. And if you saw the first episode, uh, uh, the first battle in that episode, I lost to a Talon Flame. So I've lost yet to, to another Talon Flame. And this time, the reason, the whole reason I lost and I had no chance of winning was because it was a Swords Dance Talon Flame that didn't even have Flare Blitz. Because of that, I ended up getting annihilated. Because. It had will o -Wisp instead of Flare Blitz, and uh, I couldn't 1v1 it with Ferrothorn. Normally, Ferrothorn can 1v1 Talon Flame if it doesn't have Flare Blitz. But because it had that, because it did not have it, I mean, my bad, sorry. It can 1v1 a Talon Flame if it doesn't carry will o -Wisp and Sword Stands. But, um, if it doesn't carry Flare Blitz, right. So I, it didn't have Flare Blitz, I should have won. However, it carried will o -Wisp and it carried something else and that ended up helping me to lose which is ridiculous should have won that it makes me so angry anyway all right so the typical talon flame set if that's not being used and i am not going to be doing well if the typical talon flame set is not being used um so star raptor is likely going to be the lead i don't see a normal rotom being used versus me, I, I just don't see that. Might be, but what the hell was it? What what is it gonna do to me? I, I don't see what it's going to do, what it's going to accomplish. And unlike Talon Flame, I can Thunder Wave. Uh, the Star Raptor, haha. -ha. I can Thunder Wave, but then that Ghost becomes a problem. Camerupt is alive and real. I can deal with. The Metagross, hopefully I can survive that thing. Cannot, I cannot deal with um, that, 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 that fish. Heracross can deal with that fish. It can deal with the Exploud too, but it can't deal with Charizard. But Gyarados deals with that, and Camera deals with the rest. Is that a good team? I think it's a good team. Our opponent had a 1489 rating, so we should, we should do this. We should, we should win this. So yeah, between recordings, I played a game. I basically, I'm not, my goal is not to record every single game. My, my goal is to record uh, whatever games I can record without, just, just record stuff. And, you know, unless I completely hate it or I think it's completely awful, I'm not, not going to upload it. So this guy starts with the Rotom not washed, just just the Rotom. I'm going to go into camera up. It's, it's all right. I'm going to go into camera up. Whether you decide to, I don't know, um, Thunderbolt or Will-O-Wisp, uh, but go into Rotom, no problem. But yeah, um, so I'm not gonna upload every single episode in in Road to Glo uh, Road, uh, not Road, not Road, Route Global 1000. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to upload whatever whatever comes easy to me. And also, like that's priority. Whatever comes easy. So I basically had to wait. Now I have to play a ton of games in Road uh, in Route Global 1000. So I'm gonna play whatever amount of games I can play. Now if I can't record, so if I have like a few moments to play one game between, like every time I record an episode, there's time between me doing something else and just waiting for the episode to like fin uh, for the recording to finish, like saving or whatever. I'll just play a game in between that, you know. And then once I start playing a game, if, if I don't think the game is like good, I'm not going to upload it onto YouTube because I don't have a good experience from what I've seen in the past. If I'm uploading like myself losing games that are just disgustingly played, if it's well played, it's, it's fine. But if it's just stupid, I mean, no one wants to see that. So I can't really, can't really let that fly, you know? This guy has light screen, great. I just hope Fire Blast hits twice. He had a Basculin, right? Not that it matters, I mean... 
I'm just gonna thunder. Oh, should I thunder wave the basculin or should I? I don't know. I'll see. I am going to. I am going to see. Something tells me it's Charizard X. You would not switch into a Charizard into a Camerupt if you're Charizard Y. I just, I just, I, I, I can't see that happening. Yeah, you're Charizard X. You got the tag drop. What are you gonna do? Earthquake right from the start? That would be amazing for me. Now, I'm not going to go for a Thunder Wave. I'm just going to go for the Waterfall. He can do whatever he wants. Will-O-Wisp. Okay. Um, alright. I see what you're doing. Will-O-Wisp Roost. I can predict that. I'll predict that. Will-O-Wisp Roost. I could have used Roost well, uh, Waterfall and took taken it down, but it's whatever. I'm going to rest up because Waterfall... I'm not going to rest up regardless, it's, it's whatever. Should have used Waterfall, honestly, because... I mean, he, but he might use Roost, so it's whatever. Unless he has Dragon Dance Will-O-Wisp. But I don't think he's gonna have Dragon Dance. Yeah, Roost, Will-O-Wisp, and Stab. Or not even, Dragon Claw and Earthquake, because apparently that's better than Blind. Should have the neutral coverage. I don't know, I don't know. You can do whatever he wants, I, I don't... I can handle you 1v1, buddy. I can handle you 1v1. And Heracross can handle you. Heracross can handle you with uh, with um, with anything now that you're paralyzed. Para flinches through rest talk. And you sleep talk again. Why doesn't he go to Rotom? I don't understand. I'm sleeping. I have a 30% chance of actually doing anything. I guess that makes sense. But yeah, if someone's using Rest Talk versus you, you know they only have like a... Well, my Gyarados only has a one-third chance, but most Pokemon have like a... Like a two-thirds chance. Well, honestly speaking, that means they might do something. So I, I can understand. I can understand. It's whatever. But he knows my moveset, so why doesn't he... Go ahead. Why doesn't he go ahead and switch? Because you should expect that one third is a very low percentage. So you should expect that most likely wouldn't be able to use Waterfall. So it's a good switch in. And you're minus one and I have Rocky Helmet. It's not a good combination for you to just attack me. And now that I'm Waterfalling, if you even bring Rotom in, it's going to get hurt. It's going to cry. You really want your Rotom to start crying, buddy? And if you do bring Basculin in, I would have to just use Thunder Wave. So you don't do anything crazy with like a Choice Scarf or... I don't even know what Basculin does. Rotom. Yup. But maybe he won't die. You never know. Maybe he will die. What if I went for a risky play... No, I'm gonna go into camera up because I'm not. I don't really. I don't have the Pokemon to go for risky plays, <laughs> unfortunately. I'm just gonna go into camera up, and I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna use ancient, ancient power, thunder. Okay, all right, I see. Yeah, I'm just gonna use ancient power because you're gonna go into Charizard X. Choice specs ancient. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna go into Bastion. and oh, I see, buddy. That did so much damage. 
You're gonna kill me with whatever move you plan on using. So anyways, Heracross wins this. This is a long drawn out game. It's because I have a defensive off defensive approach to things. It makes things playing easier. It says Talon Flame is a pain in the crack. I usually win versus Talon Flame though. Ah, eh, whatever though. Talon Flame. I'm just gonna use Waterfall. If Rotom decides to come in, I kill Rotom. Yeah, it's gonna use Taunt. So it's a good thing I used Waterfall, otherwise it would have been a waste of a turn. I can water. Oh no, 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 no. That Charizard X can do damage. Charizard X, I need to come in with the Intimidate. So I can't just do anything that I want. It can really, really hurt right now. He went into the Rotom. I'm angry. But I'm. I'm going to camera up. No problems. I'm going to use Shadow Ball probably. I hope he was a Shadow Ball. I hope he reads that I'm going to go into camera up. The first time, the second time that I switched in, he probably forgot. You know, he probably forgot. And it's and it's all it's all right. You know, we all forget because it's not Showdown. We don't have like an archive log in front of us. Man, what's happening to my nose? Anyways, we don't have an archive live like log. We don't have an archive or a log in front of us. So it's not, so he forfeited. So finally, he understood that he lost. Right when you see my team, you should just forfeit first turn. You should just pick one Pokemon. Or something along those lines, and just forfeit. Because when you see me, that's what you have to do. <laughs> anyway, forget about me. If you see a camera up and a Gyarados and a Ferrothorn all on one team, you know you you know you you know what you have to do. Forget about me. Maybe I suck, but if you see a Gyarados and a Ferrothorn and a camera on the same team, you just have to leave. Anyways, we're back on fifteen eighty. We were on, we were on fifteen eighty like the past couple of games, like. It's ridiculous. I'm not moving back 1580. This is crazy. Anyway, um, I should win the next game. I should be winning. I don't know why I'm not winning. Well, I know why I'm not winning, but it's, but that's a terrible excuse. The low ladder, mid ladder, and high ladder, different things work better, you know? That's just how it is. Low ladder, Mega Kangaskhan does everything you need it to do. <laughs> mid ladder, Mega Kangaskhan is a 50-50. High ladder... Mega Kangaskhan is good, but you need to play really good if you want it to really help you win, right? But low ladder, Mega Kangaskhan is free wins. I'm just not doing that because I just I'm not in the mood to do that. But that's the story. Anyway, so Ron Wash and Talon Flame. I'm gonna start off with Ferrothorn, regardless of what Pokemon they plan on using. Uh, is that a good idea? I don't agree with that. I'm going to go into Heracross. Start off with Heracross. I'm going to have myself a Gyarados to deal with that thing. With the Talon Flame that Heracross hates. Uh, Camerupt can deal with Scizor and Raikou and Aegislash. But I don't have any switch-ins for Rotom Wash. Now offensively Heracross deals with like only three only three Pokemon. Not really. It only has coverage for one. But I don't have a defensive switch. Whereas I would have a defensive switch if I had Ferrothorn. But then Power Whip is not the most... I want to run Heracross. I want to run Camerupt. I'm not running Ferrothorn. I hope it was the right move. Yeah, that's the issue with this one. I hope this game goes by fast because these videos are really long. It's because the way my team works is like that, but... Camerupt and Heracross together are never good. Never, never good because I don't, I don't know. It's just never good. But this is exactly why I use Heracross because it might switch out of Bullet Seed, but then I can most likely KO whatever tries to come in. I'm gonna Bullet Seed. 
I honestly think of Rock Blasting, but like so far nobody has switched out of Rotom Wash to Talon Flame. You know what I'm saying? So that's really that really that's that really bothers me. Cause I know a high level opponent is gonna switch into Talon Flame. But uh, but so far none of my opponents have switched out, so I don't wanna like over predict. It's only over predicting when your opponent doesn't predict properly. So far, none of my opponents even think that I'm going to carry Bullet Seed, which is crazy. Because of course I'd have Bullet Seed. But they probably think I have Mega Gyarados. Which is understandable. But I can have two Megas. Oh, he has a Citrus Berry. Oh, if he burns me. Oh, if he burns me, I am in trouble. Don't burn me. He vault switched. Yes! Yes, he vault switched. Oh boy. I had a lot of damage, but he vault switched. That was that was that was really good. That was sweet. I think he's specs. It has to be specs. That was crazy damage. Probably gonna have trick as well. So now I'm going to go into Gyarados and I'm just going to use Waterfall because if he goes into Rotom Wash, Rotom Wash is going to die to a Waterfall and I'm not going to take my risks with Thunder Wave if he goes like Thunder Wave, like I Thunder Wave something like, like he's going to be immune if he switches into Rotom Wash, you know. Might use U-Turn, that would have, that would be a smart thing on his part, but or he can do that. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. Whatever floats your boat. I don't use Waterfall anyway. Because I don't, like, why not? That's just, that's just, that's just what I think. Yeah, he was gonna, yeah, I, okay, alright, so it's a good thing I use Waterfall, alright. This is a bulky, oh my god, this Talon Flame. Ouch. It's fine. It's fine, right? No, it's not fine. It's whatever. I'm gonna go into. I don't want to camera up right now. Cause I need to heal. If he has a physical attacker, I need to really, really heal. I might not have. You know what? I'm just gonna use Waterfall, cause why not? I don't see why not. <sighs> I didn't want to go into Camera Up. The reason I didn't want to go into Camera Up was cause I didn't want to take like a risky Brave Bird. He probably would have Brave Birded me right now. If he's smart, he's gonna Brave Bird now. Come on! <laughs> I guess my opponent wasn't all that smart after all. He gave me another chance at life. Anyways, I know that Rotom is Choice Specs. So if he comes in, I'm just gonna go into um, my uh, camera up. Sleep talk. He's gonna go in and roll and wash. That would be the smart thing to do now. Come on, are you gonna be smart now or what? Like, come on. Now what's up with these Willow with Rocky helmet Talon flames? Well, the other Talon flame I fought was not Rocky helmet, probably Shark Beak or something. But what is up with these guys? Use something that's like most common so I can win. <laughs> my team can... Oh my god. Really? So 
So what are you gonna do now, Brave Bird? Come on, Brave Bird me, I dare you. Hey, 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 he actually, he actually followed the dare. Isn't he something else? Recoil, Brave Bird, of course. And next, hmm. All right, this is my second turn of. What? Oh, okay. Never mind. No, never mind. Thought that was my second turn. Apparently, it's not. So it's it's fine. Everything is fine. My taunt wore off. Yay! What are you doing now? Launch flame again? Better not brave bird me. I don't want to camera up because he might use taunt and he might like, you know. Or he might do that. He's not he's not banded, so he's not gonna annihilate my life. Sala's gonna use ancient power. We don't know what's gonna happen. He, he's most likely gonna die. He's not banded, so he's not gonna kill me with the brave bird. Otherwise, he would kill me with the brave bird. You are a risky little crapper. You know that? Are you seriously gonna do that in front of a camera up that can use earth power? And now I'm fast, and I'm stronger. <laughs> you should have brave birded me and left. Well, you thought I was gonna like use that. You use that to lower the attack damage of ancient power. I understand that was that was a very very smart move. You have to give credit where it's due. That was a very smart move. However. Yeah, so I'm thinking of. I was thinking of going into my uh, Gyarados, but I think it's a pretty risky move. What is he doing? U turn? Is he that slow? Did he really think I was gonna switch out? He's gonna use rest, and ancient power is gonna do a map. Wait, no, never mind. I had Ancient Power Speed Boost, right? Okay, alright. I guess you can say luck if you want to, but it's whatever. This this game was so many turns. Goodness. At least this Talon Flame we're beating. I, I don't know how long this episode has been, but we're winning this. So that's, 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 that, that's, that's, that's nice, right guys? Right? I don't know, do you guys enjoy these episodes? I really want your feedback. Do you, do you guys enjoy this? Um, do you guys want to watch me using, like, playing better opponents only? Or you, would you mind watching these kind of games too? I mean, every single game is, like, intense. You can't take any game off saying, oh, they don't have a high rating. No, no, no. You have no right to be cocky. So, for no reason, any, like... I did on showdown, but still, that doesn't mean anything here. And even doing on showdown, that doesn't mean you did it in a tournament. If you did it in a tournament, all right, cockiness approved. But it's not like I ever went to a tournament and did anything well, or most people. So, so or anyone. So even yourself, if you've done well, you know yourself that anything can happen in Pokemon, especially Battle Spot three v three. You can't just be overconfident or cocky or anything along those lines. You have to treat every opponent like they're a killer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Leave a like. Comment. You know, if you guys want to be on the on the channel by playing a Smogon tier or something, you know, leave a comment with uh, with your friend code, all that nice stuff. And uh, there's one more thing. Right, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Because if you subscribe, 
you're gonna always be notified when I have a new upload and anything. All right, so I myself, I always tend to be not subscribed to people, and I always look for their channels forever. When it really would make life a lot easier if I just subscribe to them, because seriously, I'm going to their channel anyway, so might as well subscribe. So don't forget to subscribe if you're doing that. And yeah, so I hope you guys have a nice day. This is Growl on Empire. Peace out.